Hello everyone, oh boy, oh boy, I'm back, I'm fuming, <laughs> I wanted myself a easy night, a peaceful night, was watching boxing, you know which fight I was watching, and then what, after the fight I end up on this gentleman's channel, you know, of course I went there and I watched some videos and it, exactly, I left a nice comment, with receipts and everything and it get deleted, I left another one and guess what, it get deleted, but here you go, you can see it, so I thought, you know what, after the first one get deleted, I thought, you know what, I need to write the second comment and take like a screenshot so you can see it, you know, that's the video, it's exactly the video and you know, I'm there and there's some comments so you can see it's there, and it get deleted for a second time, so now, honestly, me being a nice polite person, which I totally am, I gonna make the video, I gonna stay up extra long to make this video, and that's where we are, we are right here, right now. So out much boxing is saying the shot was low, I'm saying the shot is 420 high, well let's see it, what does it actually mean, low or high, because he says it was low, I'm saying it was top part of the belt, and not only that, the belt was so high, that you couldn't see the navel or belly button of Yusik. You can't. You cannot do that. And here's another screenshot from start of the fight. So, you know, just to verify, it wasn't like it moved up at some point. It was always very high. Okay, guys, so you can see the picture. Yusik is right there. You cannot see the navel. You cannot see the belly button. The trunks are a bit high, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. You're allowed to land the shots in it. If the referee doesn't say, and no one is objecting, you know that the trunks are way too high, it's fine, and even in rules, it says you are allowed to land the shots on the belt line. You're not allowed to land under the belt line, okay? So 50-50 on it or straight on it still should be fine. You know what? Let's actually go and see, you know, what the rules are saying just to make sure for people who don't know. So guys, you're gonna see it that this shot is completely legal and here it says hitting below the belt first of all the shot was on the belt line actually it was top part of the belt line but the whole thing comes in where people like what was uh what's his name um no, just a second Can I see I'm legally blind. That's my story. so yeah Maybe he's legally blind, but you know what, out much boxing, what can I say, let's hear what out much boxing wants to say and give us as his opinion, you know, maybe it's not that bad and maybe what I wrote down there because I put my heart and soul into it and he delete that comment, okay, let, let's see, maybe I'm wrong, you know, let's see. And to me it looks quite clear that it's a low blow because there, there's some people... Uh, no, it's not. The shot lands straight onto the belt and the trunks are high. This is 480 picture and it's actually not the impact moment. That's a different moment and I'm going to show you that in the video. People who hit boxing, I feel were being overly emotional, or maybe even willfully ignorant because, I don't know, they have some kind of bias, maybe. He just said, like, no one knows what they're talking about. And yes, I do have biased, this biased is for rules and regulations regardless who's winning the fight so yeah legal shot but from what i saw alexander usik's waistband wasn't particularly high it was so high if it would be one more inch higher we would have another moon landing besides the one which just happened yes guys this is the picture from uh, not the moon landing, I mean, I just uh, took out Yusik from the fight against Dubois, you can see the red uh, Dubois glove, uh, the belt is just under his ribs, you can see it, it's pushing under his ribs, this is how high it is, it's about 2 inches above his navel. The top of the waistband was pretty much level, maybe just a shade, un uh, shade over his navel, his belly button, and by boxing standards, that's not really that high, and you'll often see, or the, the argument is that, okay, that punch was mostly on the waistband, and therefore it's a valid punch, and it should have been classed as a knockdown, and Usyk should have been counted out. However, you'll often see in the beginning of fights, the referee's discretion relative to... What you've just said is one of the most insanely idiotic things I have ever heard. At no point in your rambling, incoherent response were you even close to anything 
that could be considered a rational thought. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Here we have Tony Bill, you proving my point. He says, below the navel, classes as low blow. The issue is, in this picture, we can see the navel. In other pictures, in the boxing match, you're not gonna see it because it's been covered by the trunks. That's it. So the shot literally landed on the navel, which means it was legit. But let's dive into the videos right now, guys. Let's see them. So yeah, guys, pay attention to Yusik's uh, belt line because he gonna exhale, he gonna turn because he sees the shot coming, he exhales, and now you can see the belly button. Yeah, and one more time because it's so fast. So the shot is coming in. It's good. He exhales, he turns, and now you can see it. And boom, the shot goes straight onto the belly button. The knuckles land on the belly button. The top two knuckles, that's where they landed. So yeah, guys, there's only one reason why this could be a low blow. But if you look it, now it's in slow-mo. I slowed it down. Uh, the thumb of the boxing glove goes above the line. The rest of it goes under. But the navel is like about half inch, inch under the, the line anyway. So this shot went straight to the navel. That's it. The only reason why this could be like a low blow is referee didn't see it. He was in the wrong angle at the wrong time and he thought this wasn't the correct, you know, uh, height of the shot. But again, guys, before that, in previous fight, when Dubois was put down three times, I called him out. I said he should be written off because three knockdown rule, guys. It's about the rules. I don't care who wins the fight. It's about the rules. Usyk should have a count on it. Would that change the outcome of the fight? Honestly, I don't think so. As I have mentioned in the previous video, um, I was favoring Usyk to win this fight easily. But the realistically speaking is before people making videos about boxing, maybe they should actually box, spend few years as amateurs boxing, taking fights. Or if you didn't do that, fair enough, maybe you educate yourself on it. Because that was a completely legit shot. There was no reason to rule it as a low blow.